Today we are unboxing Tybee's breathable waders. And before I get too far, I want to tell you first off, I'm actually a return customer. You see, a couple years ago I was going on a destination hunt and I had a pair of name brand waders that were not going to fit in my luggage. So I looked into shipping them. And shipping them was going to be expensive also. So what I did is I looked on Amazon and I found some a pair of waders. They happened to be Tideways. They were neoprene. And I had them shipped to my destination for cheaper than if I had paid for the luggage or paid for shipping. And that's how I ended up as a Tidewee customer. And I actually really liked them. I actually liked the Tidewee neoprene waders better than my name brand. And there's a reason why, and we'll get to that eventually. But right now, let's take a look at what's in the box here. So this is what comes in the box. You've got a belt. Now the belt here, you put on, and what it, the idea behind the belt is that if you do start to take in water, it'll stop it at the circumference of the belt and you won't fill up completely with water. So that's why you have a belt. The you have a belt is put your two six-shot shell holders on. Now, they also have shell holders across the chest of the waders themselves, which is what I actually use and I prefer. I don't like shells around here. I, I'd rather just pull them right off of You also have wader hangers. Yes, these pull out and you can hang your waders with them. You have a repair kit. Yes, this is important. Why is this important? This is important because if you are on a destination hunt and you don't have a Bass Pro around, you're going to want this if you do get a hole in your waders. The other, thing about, the other thing about having a repair kit is that it could extend your waders for just to the end of the season so that on the off season you can look around and find the waders that you do want. A cell phone, a, a waterproof cell phone case that you can actually use on with uh, through the case while it's still waterproof. Okay, so let's open up the waders and see what we got in here. Taking a look, first off you can see we've got Real Max 5 camo pattern, which is pretty standard on most waders. It's a great pattern, it works. All right, starting from the top down, you got nice adjustable straps, quick releases. These are also important if you do take on water, that all it takes is just one little clip right here and you can shed them and get out of them and leave as necessary. Going down, you've got D-rings. What do you use the D-rings for? When you throw out your decoy and you got that carabiner, throw that carabiner right here and now you can pick up your decoys at the end of the hunt also. Let me show you this. There, 1200 gram insulation right there. That's gonna keep you warm. Now, I wanna tell you about uh, Tidely. Tidely has a whole line of different types of insulation you can get all the way up to actually heated waders. You will be able to find a pair of waders that's going to fit your environment with Kydney. I, I know that. Moving on. Inside you've got this clear plastic thing. Water resistant. I'm not going to soak it in water with uh, you know my cell phone to see, test it out but it you know maybe a wallet Maybe a quick dip in there and then out, you know, type thing. It'll shed water quickly, but it's probably not going to work if you're just submerged in water. Up front here is another water-resistant zipper with a pouch in here. That's I usually keep a lot of ammo right in here and right here. That's where I keep my ammo. Of course, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight shells that you can carry up front here. The waders themselves are pretty light, so it's not that bad. Here, check this out. Not many people know this. You've got a loop for your belt right there. All right, you've got Cordura on the back side and on the knees and the shins. This is going to work out really well. Going down, you've got a steel shank here in your boot to keep it nice and tight. You've got a nice aggressive tread here on the bottom of your boot so that if you're in mud, hopefully it will stick pretty well. Here's a cool thing. you got a toe kick to kick it off at the end of the day. Who would have thought? That's a, pretty, that's a pretty nice option there. The boots fit perfect. I'm a size 13. I got a size 13 and they fit just perfect. Here I've got my Tideweed breathable waders on and let me tell you, they are breathable. It is smoking hot out right now. My GoPro keeps dying on me because it's overheating, but I'm not overheating in here. This is a whole lot different than neoprene. It feels like kind of like 
just an extra pair of pants, maybe a bulky pair of pants you're wearing. Whereas with neoprene, you know how neoprene just presses down on you and just kind of locks you up? The other thing that's nice about Tideweed, and I know this from my Tideweed neoprene waders, is that the crotch is high enough to work with. How many times have you had a crotch down here, you take one step, you trip, and now you're up to here in water? You know, and then you're trying to throw out, now the next thing you're worried about is getting up, and you're like, oh my gosh, if I already take on water, I gotta stand up. Meanwhile, your waders are holding you down because you can't move your legs. Tideweed's got that problem dialed in. These, the crotch on these are magnificent. All right, Lily, tell us, how hot is it? Yeah, it's pretty hot, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'm doing pretty well in my tide. We breathable waders. These are pretty nice, let me tell you. I really like them. The reason why I'm so big on mobility and overheating is that one of my hunt areas when I go on my destination hunts is a three mile walk in. And let me tell you, you walk in for three miles in neoprene, throw out decoys, you're a sweaty pig. Now you sit in a blind. A cool breeze comes by, you're freezing. With these breathable waders, you're not sweating, so you're not overheating, and you're not freezing at the end of the day. The mobility in these are really nice as I'm walking along. The thing about neoprene is that it just feels so stifling that they're actually hard to walk in, in my opinion. These work. How do you, th what do you think? What do you think, Lily? Pretty good, huh? These are pretty nice. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I like these. These are going to work really well. But don't take just my word for it. Go to the link below, read the reviews, see what you think. For the price, they're like half the price of name brand waders. And with the breathable ones, if you're looking between neoprene and breathable, I do the breathable. Neoprene for me is in fact obsolete. All right, three things I like most about these waders. One, the temperature control. You can go from warm to cold in these waders and survive just fine. Number two, the crotch. The crotch is high enough that I'm not gonna trip and fall. Number three, the mobility. It's not neoprene where it's gonna suffocate you and bring you down. Oh, and the reason why I bought Tide Me in the first place a while ago to neoprene, the price. If you're on the fence, this is a lot smaller investment than some of the name brand products out there.